Good morning. This is JHS Weekly. I'm Kendall Lewis. And I'm Alex Hunt. Key Club will have their first meeting on September 6th at 7.45 a.m. in D301. Come and have a donut and do some good. Now let's take a look at some changes that are happening to the JHS football team. New and exciting changes are happening to Joplin High School football team as they join the COC. We started this process about four years ago. We applied to the COC for admission at the same time that Carl Junction was accepted. Uh, at that time, they took Carl Junction and did not take us. Um, there were some schools on the smaller side of the COC, which doesn't exist anymore, that had expressed some in interest about possibly moving to the larger side. And I think they were trying to hold a spot for one of those schools in case they wanted it. Um, that didn't work out the first time. And then a couple of years ago, we came back again. Um, you know, that we had gotten word that, that they would reconsider our application, and so we submitted it again, and it worked that time. I think it's exciting because we have four schools in our geographical region um, that, that essentially are rivals. It's the first time we've had that. Our kids that grew up playing JYFA that, that played these schools growing up will now get to play them when they're in high school as well. Well, I think there's several reasons on why we changed conferences. Number one, I think the biggest reason is travel. We were making three-hour trips to places like Rolla and West Plains and that type of thing that uh, forced our students to miss more class time and spend more time on the road that forced our families to watch their student athlete play. You know, they may have to take off work at 1 o'clock for a 4.30 start or something like that in those towns. So we were looking for something a little bit closer. And uh, the other big reason is this gives us a chance to renew some of our local rivalries with our closer schools like Carl Junction, Webb City, uh, uh, Carthage, and the Osho, which is something that we think is going to be a fantastic environment on Friday night varsity football games at Jung and probably the biggest change is football because we played those local schools in in every sport other than football but hadn't had the ability to in football so we think it's going to create some great atmosphere for our kids to play in. Going to get to spend more time in school and less time on the road. I don't know that student athletes would say that's a benefit but to us that's a benefit because our number one job is to educate kids and um, we want them in class as much as possible and try to limit the distractions that way. Reporting from Jet HD, I'm Ryan Masher. Thanks, Ryan. Interested in learning guitar? JHS has a new class for you. There is a new class at JHS this year. This class is taught by the band teacher, Mike Walsnar. This new class is all about learning how to play guitar. A guitar was an offering um, last year talking to Dr. Eggleston, who was a principal at that time, and we were looking at trying to find ways to get more kids involved in music, so we thought we would offer them another alternative. I, we plan to even expand it from what it is now, which is an introduction class into possibly a second level, second year class as well. Uh, yeah, I'm learning a lot more than what I did in the last five years of me attempting to play. Uh, it's not too challenging. He gives us enough time to learn what we need to learn and do what we need to do to do the best we can. Uh, I did uh, play trumpet for about three years, and, I, and this doesn't count as an instrument, but I also was in choir for a while, for a while but that was pretty much it. I decided to take guitar class because I've been really interested in playing more instruments and I knew guitar is something that I have been passionate about playing before and so I decided to take a class because of that. The class takes place in uh, the PAC in A Hall. Other instruments that I can play are the piano, which I self-taught myself that and then later I took a class here at JHS for that. And I also kind of self-taught myself to play ukulele as well. Thanks, Alyssa. This week, I went to observe the Skills USA event for myself to see what it was all about. Skills USA is a national membership association serving high school, college, and middle school students who are preparing for careers in trade, technical, and skilled service occupations. Skills USA is a partnership of students, teachers, and industry working together to ensure America has a skilled workforce. Skills USA helps each student excel. Skills USA empowers its members to become world-class workers, leaders, and responsible American citizens. Skills USA improves the quality of our nation's future skilled workforce through the development of framework skills that include personal, workplace, and technical skills grounded in academics. 
Skills USA offers local, state, and national opportunities for students to learn and practice personal, workplace, and technical skills. These three components compromise the Skills USA framework, a blueprint for career readiness. Local chapters conduct a full program of work, and many students also attend a district or state conference. At the Skills USA Championships, more than 6,000 students compete in 100 occupational and leadership skill areas each June. These national technical competitions help establish industry standards for job skill training and entry level workers. Reporting for JetHD, I'm Kendall Lewis. Thanks, Kendall. Recently, JHS just held an event about clubs for students interested. Here's Abby Nelson with more. JHS held their annual Club Fest on August 30th. Club Fest is an opportunity for students at JHS to find something they're interested in. You know, we're fortunate at JHS to have. Uh, over 70 clubs and activities and so we just want students to be a part of something. Uh, we know that students are a part of something, they're going to like school a little better and uh, have a good time in the process. We want every student to have the opportunity to join some kind of club or activity uh, to try to help find their interests and, and have the school experience a little more exciting for them. Sometimes it's not just about academics but what they get involved in uh, is really important. Well, The research shows that if uh, students are involved in something at school they're more successful. And so uh, not only that, we want people to make friends. And once again, it goes back to uh, just enjoying being here and enjoying coming to school. And we think that's a big part of their experience. Clubs are a great opportunity for students to meet, uh, meet others that they may not meet in class. Um, it's a good opportunity for them to talk about common interests. After Club Fest today, we had two emails to us of students suggesting different clubs that we could offer. And so, you know, we say to the students who are suggesting those clubs, you know, find an advisor, find a group of students that want to do it, and let's give it a shot. I think the more that we can offer students uh, at, for, for high school, I think, the better. Uh, just gives them more opportunities to get involved and, and be part of high school. I'm involved in, um, I'm president of National Honor Society, president of Peer Buddies, Vice President of National English Honor Society, Treasurer of the Debate Team, and finally a part of Project Lead the Way. I love those clubs. I have a passion for community service, um, special education, so everything I'm involved in is something I really have a passion for. The reason clubs have helped me throughout high school is going into it, it's just a bunch of strangers bonding over something you all love, and I think I've made some of my closest friends through the clubs at, throughout this high school. Throughout these clubs, I've learned leadership, I've learned how to be a part of a team and not just, that's not just all about you, but it's about all of us as a whole. I think clubs are important because they give a person a self sense of community and they show that it's okay to be a part of something and they help you throughout high school because you learn things, you make new friends, etc. This is Abby Nelson reporting from JHD. Thanks, Abby. This has been JHS Weekly. Have a great week.